Notion and ClickUp. Which tool is actually better for your workflows and your business? If you're trying to manage tasks, run a team, or just get your life more organized, these two tools dominate the conversation but they do not do the same thing. So let's dive in and see which tool is better suited to you. ClickUp and Notion are both productivity tools, but can also be considered work management tools or ecosystem tools, each catering to different users' needs. Notion is most popular among small teams, freelancers, and creators. It began as a document editor, but now offers an ecosystem of tools. It's huge in the productivity world thanks to its flexibility and minimalist design. ClickUp, on the other hand, is built for project management. But like Notion, it's expanding its products into docs, dashboards, time tracking, and much more. So in this video, we're going to break down each platform, looking at the pricing, features, functionality, and by the end of it, you'll understand which tool you and your business should use. Let's waste no time and dive straight in, kicking things off with pricing. How much bang do you get for your buck? The free plan is where most people will begin with a new tool. Now, Notion has a generous free plan, but mostly geared towards solo users, independent freelancers. Teams can definitely use it, but the real benefits like admin and permission controls come in on the plus plan at $10 per user per month. ClickUp offers unlimited tasks and members on the free plan, but with very little storage space, limited features, and only one form. Paid plans for ClickUp start at $7 per user per month, paid annually, and unlock dashboards, automations, timelines, and more customization. Bottom line, Notion's free plan is better for solo creators and individuals, whereas ClickUp is great for teams. However, the limitation on that free plan is going to see you upgrading pretty quickly. You can definitely run a solid operation on Notion's Plus plan. However, it's still geared towards individuals and not teams. If you're working across multiple teams, sharing with clients, or need advanced security and analytics, you'll need the business plan starting at $20 per user per month, which is a much higher price tag when compared to ClickUp. ClickUp, on the other hand, stays strong, but you will likely outgrow that unlimited plan if you want to build custom dashboards, use advanced automation that goes beyond 1,000 actions per month, or you're looking to manage more complex workflows. If you need these things, well, you'll be pushed into the business plan at $12 per user per month, where you get features like timeline views, workload management, goal tracking, and it's $8 cheaper than Notion's. The business plans are where both platforms stop being nice to have and actually become fully operational business solutions. And beyond those plans, you have the enterprise, but you'll have to discuss with each platform in order to find more out about that. Now, while both Notion and ClickUp offer base pricing, you still need to be wary and ensure that you're not going to have to pay anything extra for added on features or connecting to your tools through integrations. Previously available as an add-on, Notion AI is now included only in the business and enterprise plans, meaning you'll need to subscribe to a $20 per user per month plan to use it. ClickUp Brain, which is ClickUp's AI assistant, is only available as an add-on, costing $7 per user per month. The tool offers AI-powered task management, content generation, and smart suggestion across your workspace. But in testing both AI models, I only found use in Notion's AI, particularly when asking it to fix and generate formulas that would be used in app. Plus, at $7 per user per month for ClickUp's AI, well, that price difference between Notion and ClickUp, it no longer exists. And there are further costs for ClickUp if you want premium features. And this is the double-edged sword of ClickUp. It's a jack of all trades, or at least advertises itself as to be. If you're doing everything, how well are you doing all of those things? Plus, for those premium features and add-ons, you're going to be paying an extra dollar. And this is through ClickUps, which are plug-in type features for the platform. Things like time tracking, ClickUp email, and automations. This list is ridiculously big. You'll have to go and look through it. ClickApps work best when you're only using what supports your workflows, the things that push the needle forward, not just because it looks cool in a demo, but because it's actually useful to you and your team. Turning on every feature within your workspace doesn't make your team more productive. It actually distracts them. And so the smartest ClickUp workspaces are those with clear 
boundaries, simplified setups, and a focus on the tools that actually move projects forward. ClickUp also offers integrations with your favorite tools. And while basic apps are available in the plans and especially the lower tier plans, advanced integrations are unlocked in the business plan and above. Otherwise, you can get access through a ClickApps add-on. However, you're going to be paying for your plan and you're going to be paying to access that integration. But let's quickly discuss the overall experience of using ClickUp and Notion because this is where the personality of a platform really shines and where you'll be able to understand who each platform is really suited for. ClickUp feels like a cockpit, lots of switches, dials, add-ons, and power. It's built for project managers, op leads, and structured teams who love things like dependencies, priorities, and sprint views. Notion feels more like a blank canvas or digital notebook. You can create databases, design wikis, and write clean, rich text content in the same space. But can we consider it a powerhouse in work management? There's definitely a learning curve in building functional systems in Notion, and that's because it doesn't have the most structured database unlike its competitors. But it is intuitive and beautiful once you get in the flow, which is the perfect segue into discussing how each tool handles data and why it really matters depending on your workflow. ClickUp organizes everything through a fixed hierarchy. Workspaces, spaces, folders, lists, tasks and subtasks. It's a rigid structure, but that's exactly what makes it reliable. If you want to learn more about ClickUp's hierarchy, then make sure to watch this video linked above. When you're managing your pipelines in ClickUp, tracking sprints or scaling team operations, you need clarity and predictability. Notion, on the other hand, uses databases as its core building block. It's much more flexible for content heavy or info heavy workflows, as you can put a database anywhere within your workspace and build customized pages. But because you can stretch and pull, Notion databases become chaotic and overwhelming without the right systems in place. And especially when multiple collaborators are jumping in. ClickUp offers dashboards, which let you visualize data across your workspace using pre-built widgets like charts, task lists, time tracking, sprint progress, and more. It's designed for quick setup and real-time reporting, making it ideal for teams that need structured, high-level visibility without much configuration. Notion, on the other hand, is the dashboard. Every page in Notion can act as a fully customized control center. You can embed databases, link views, create filtered lists, and stack content however you like. So while ClickUp can help you with dashboards to create ready-made visuals of task metrics or how your team is performing, Notion hands you a blank canvas and says, design it your way. But what about who can see that data? Roles and permissions. ClickUp has granular user permissions. You can set who can edit tasks, who can comment, who sees what, and even limit access to entire spaces or folders, which is ideal for larger teams and agencies. Notion has workspace level permissions and page level sharing. It's great for smaller teams or client facing pages, but gets messier as your organization scales, especially if you're managing multiple external collaborators. If you need bulletproof permissions and roles, well, here, ClickUp definitely has an edge. Something that we have to talk about being automation helpers is automations and integrations. ClickUp's automations is one of the most powerful features and one of the easiest ways to take manual tasks off you and your team's plate. With just a few clicks, you can set up rules that trigger actions based on task changes, which saves your team and you a whole heap of time keeping you focused on the more important things. You can choose from different triggers like status changes, assigning updates, etc., and pair them with a wide range of actions like assigning users, moving tasks, posting comments, or applying tags. Now, ClickUp also offers automation templates, so if you are new to automations, you can easily get started. And of course, we'll need to mention the integrations. Now, you can connect with a whole heap of tools. You'll want to check out what tools come with which pricing plans, but you may need to pay to be able to connect to a specific tool of your choosing. On the other hand, Notion has always been that platform that has been laughed at for its automations being super limited until recently with the recent releases, they've actually improved the automation functionality a lot. However, it is still limited in comparison to other tools like ClickUp 
Airtable Smart Suite, but you can do a lot more and you can actually send a webhook request, which is something that was introduced recently and has opened up a whole lot more possibilities with what you can automate. However, when it comes to the premium automation functionality, ClickUp has the upper hand. It offers logic and those pre-made templates make building incredibly intuitive. Notion, on the other hand, has basic database automation capabilities and the automation editor itself is also pretty basic. When it comes to comparing the two in that category, ClickUp is definitely built better for fully baked workflows, whereas Notion is a great companion for those more simpler, basic automations. And when you are looking at building out complex workflows, you're just going to have to use another platform like Zapier or Make to get those done with Notion. But I need to mention that with ClickUp, there is a limit to the number of automation runs you have. So check out the plan to see each of those. And with Notion, those automation runs are unlimited. Now, comparing the core functionality of each platform, I could say it like this. ClickUp focuses on action. It's optimized for getting things done in a team setting with a structure. Notion, on the other hand, focuses on context. You can write detailed pages, connect them via backlinks, and view information from multiple angles. It's best for creators, strategists, and thinkers who want to see the bigger picture. So let's be real about the flaws of each. ClickUp can definitely feel overwhelming if your team isn't tech savvy and you'll expect a slower adoption. And Notion lacks the structured hierarchy, meaning that your workspace can get incredibly chaotic really quickly. You'll want to choose ClickUp if your primary need is a robust project management tool with extensive features and integrations, suitable for small, medium, and larger teams requiring structured workflows. But do expect to pay a pretty penny. Remember, the pricing works at every add-on is per user per month. You should opt for Notion if you prefer a flexible, customizable workspace that combines documents and database capabilities. It's ideal for individuals or small to medium-sized teams, or it's the perfect tool to manage larger teams, knowledge bases, wikis, and content workflows. But perhaps neither one of these tools is best suited to your business. If you're looking for something that sits between structure and flexibility, SmartSuite offers a modern take on work management. SmartSuite is a great solution for teams that need relationable databases and don't want the DIY setup of Notion or the rigid structure of ClickUp. Or if you're focused purely on data and process systems, Airtable remains a favorite for us and teams building work management solutions, lightweight internal tools or project trackers, especially when paired with automation or external integrations. If you need help deciding on which tool to use or automating your business for success, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.